Hey guys, welcome to Ted TV. My name is Ted, and I'm sorry I haven't gotten an upload in the past uh, week. I went to Animate Miami, which was a lot of fun. Then I went to Halloween Horror Nights. Living the Florida life. Regardless, we got a new patch coming out in World of Warcraft, patch 6.2.3, and we got Overwatch Beta this week. I actually didn't get a key yet, but when I do, you're going to see a hell of a lot of videos from that. So let's jump right into patch 6.2.3. So the first thing on the patch notes is Cataclysm Time Walker Dungeons. This is really cool because I have some pretty good nostalgia, some vivid memories of Cataclysm, and I was kind of hoping to see the Cataclysm Dungeons on here a lot sooner than they were. But regardless, we're getting them, and we're getting them in the form of End Time, Grimba Toll, Lost City of Tolvir, Stone Core, The Vortex Pinnacle, and Throne of Tides. And these are really, really cool six choices that they made. I love that they made End Time. End Time is one of my favorite dungeons. Uh, Grimba Toll is a very interesting dungeon. I know a lot of people have some good nostalgia with that place. For Burning Crusade and Wrath of Lich King Time Walker events, we've also seen two new dungeons added, one for each. We're getting the Magister's Terrace for Burning Crusade, and we're getting the Pit of Saron for Wrath of Lich King. Now, I was really hoping we get Halls of Reflection, but we uh, we didn't. So, they added a new mount to Time Walker Dungeons, which drop off of any Time Walker boss, or you used to have a chance to get it. It's called the Infinite Time Reaver. I'm not really quite sure what it looks like. I'm going to try to find a picture and put it somewhere over here. We're also going to be seeing some Cross Realm Mythic Raiding. So, our raiding scene is going to have a little bit more leeway, now that we can grab people from other realms. So, we're probably going to be seeing more Mythic Dungeons on the, uh, the actual LFR tool. We can get some of our Mythic stuff done before the next expansion, which is hopefully going to be soon. So the next thing on the list is item upgrades and valor points. They're finally coming back. We're going to be able to gather valor again through our first heroic dungeon of the day, uh, completing mythic dungeons, weekly bonus events, and LFR through High Mall, Black Rock Foundry, and Hellfire Citadel each week respectively. Now we can use this valor to buy, I'm going to assume we're going to be able to buy um, items and stuff like gear. Or maybe they're gonna put out a mount, maybe they're gonna put out like pets. Um, regardless, we can use our Valor points toward item upgrades. Now we can upgrade anything we've found in Tanan Jungle, in Draenor Dungeons, and in Hellfire Citadel. So we can actually begin to upgrade our gear using Valor points. So this is gonna be something that a lot of you raiders are gonna have to really get into and start farming. Um, there's not exactly a clear way in how Valor points are gonna work and how they cap. I don't know if we cap per week or we can just only do those events. And those five ways are the only ways we can actually earn Valor. The way to upgrade is going to be the same way as it was before. You just go to the Ethereal Vendors in Orgrimmar, Stormwind, or War Spear and uh, Storm Shield, I think. And you can go ahead and use them there to buy your upgrades. So the next thing on the patch notes is improved item rewards. Now this is essentially saying that our Mythic Dungeon and Baleful item level boosts that we get, like Horrock Warforged type thing, or regular Warforged, is going to be it's going to have a bigger gap like a bigger possibility so for example in mythic dungeons we're going to be we're going to be able to see warforged drop from 685 to 725 725 is a huge item level boost if you're not in mythic rating so this is kind of a big deal you're going to want to be farming these things quite often and you're going to want to really hope that you're getting those those drops now the baleful items can also go up to i want to say 695 695 and five item, 5 item level increments just like the Mythic Dungeon. So in Mythic Dungeons and through Baleful item levels, you can get stuff that are like 690 or even 715. So you're going to find some of your early like normal and heroic um, raiding gear replaced pretty easily. Which I don't really know how I feel about that, I've been working pretty hard to get my heroic gear. But, I mean, we gotta play catch up. We're going to want everybody to be nice and fleshed out for the next, the next expansion. Which we're not even sure when that's coming out yet. We didn't even have a beta. Uh, release date yet, I don't think. We'll find out uh, in two weeks at BlizzCon. I am super psyched. Now, something else you should probably know is Mythic Dungeons are going to be dropping an Heirloom Trinket now, which is going to be rare. And the purpose of this trinket is that it levels to 110. So this is kind of like the way that they did the um, the Heirloom weapons off of Garrosh for Mist of Pandaria, except it's going to be a trinket. This is going to level with you all the way to 110. I don't know if it's going to be able to go any lower, but it's still going to be neat to have. Well, I don't really know what they do yet. There's no... Uh, no detail but regardless we're going to be seeing a new heirloom item and that's pretty cool so the next thing is going to be warlord season three now we're gonna we actually did get a season three despite not having three patches unless you really want to call that first one a patch but we're going to be seeing that as a new thing for us pvpers to do uh we're going to get new gear new aspirant gear which is going to be 715 warmongering combatant gear which is going to be 730 and warmongering gladiator gear which is going to be 740 so these, these uh, item levels are pretty high, they're pretty strong, and we're going to have to work for those just like we did before. 
that's pretty much all they're putting out for PvP. Uh, PvP period, we kind of got shafted this expansion. We didn't, well, like, we're getting like a late season. I don't even know if it's going to be a full-length season. And if it is, then you guys kind of have an idea of when the next expansion might be coming out. We're, we're going to have to wait for the season to end, as usual. The last thing on the patch notes is raids and dungeons. And that's going to be nothing new, unfortunately. We're going to see something for Hellfire Citadel, though. Heroic and Mythic Archimonde kills are going to award a Fragment of Darkness, of Dark Power. And that will start a quest to eventually get you a Grove Warden mount. From what I've heard, the Grove Warden mount is a moose, which is super cool because all of us want mooses. We want to ride, ride around on our meese and have a lot of fun. And I'm really looking forward to start working for that, working toward that. Uh, my my group just got to Heroic Manor out there. We're about to get to Heroic Manor out, so we're going to be hopefully seeing this soon. I really expect to be getting this mount because I really want the moose. When I saw it in the uh, in the trailer, I was just like. Aside from that, uh, the other little minor detail is that Felblight is going to have a 20% higher drop chance in Tanan, and we're going to be able to farm that a little bit easier. It looks like they're just trying to make things a little bit easier for us toward the end of the expansion. That way we can get everything we want out of the expansion and be able to move into the next one with uh, the happy face, if, if you want to call it that. And so to end this video, I really just want to share with you guys my hype for Overwatch. I'm really, really excited to play this game. Um, I haven't gotten beta yet, but when I do, you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff from me in that aspect. Now, I'm still going to be putting out my WoW tutorials, I'm still going to be putting out stuff on WoW. I just haven't really had the chance this past week to really work on it. So I'm going to start working on it over this next weekend, and hopefully I can get you guys a tutorial by next week. Hopefully I can do something interesting. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on something, please just, like, right down there. Please just put it in there. That way I can figure out what my next topic might be. I did want to do a class thing, but I felt like if I started that, and Legion changed it too much, then my tutorials will become, like, obsolete, and there would be no point in viewing them. So I'm still thinking about that. Regardless, I'm going to definitely try to think of something else to do. Once Overwatch comes out, I do want to do a hero highlight on everybody, and I want to try to see if I can educate more people. As you know, as fast as I'm learning, I will teach you guys, because I, I too really don't know what's going on with the game. I'm really not sure how the mechanics work. I haven't gotten to play the game myself. But I will at BlizzCon, and I will be getting beta soon, because I know I will. I'm just really excited. I hope you guys share my excitement. I hope I'm able to get my excitement out there to you guys. Regardless, though, I am going to be working on as much as I can for this next couple weeks. If you guys like my videos, please give me a like, a comment, and give me a subscribe. I'll see you guys next week, and take it easy.